Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. Um, um, when I started writing this, I, I had this, this great quote from Marianne Williamson. I'm going to read it to you anyway, but it took me far afield and, and back too. So here's the journey, and here's the reflection. Uh, to some, this might feel like a period of a great ending. But in fact, this is a time of a great beginning. It is the time to die to what we used to be and to become instead of what we are capable of being. And that's the gift that awaits us now, the chance to become who we really are. Um, we are all in the process of becoming. Um, but I liked her focus here. And we're all feeling this shift. You know, sometimes we feel excited. Wow, we here, we came for this, this is a shift. Sometimes we feel um, bowled over and fearful and we look around and, you know, when is the shoe going to drop on me or the shoe just dropped on me or um, what's going to happen to me? You know, how am I going to go through this? We all know we're here to go through it and there's excitement in that, but the unknown creates a lot of, a lot of fear. And sometimes then, though, I, I move through these times as the calm observer. I read my email, I listen to a lot of stuff on the internet, I even listen to the news, and I sit and I think, hmm, some are interpreting this way, that way, they're all having their different experiences, and, and this is good, and I'm, I'm more detached at that point. Um, so where I wanted to go this morning was, you know, how do you make it through the shift to see the great beginning and become who you really are? And uh, one of the first things that Ezekiel taught me way back when, and I, I entitled my whole body of work this some time back, uh, was called To Love It All. And what I'm finding is those of us who are conscious and awake, we're all consciously receiving the duality of things instead of seeing the bad, this is the bad and the good. And even when we see the good, the bad will pop up and we recognize it. Or when we're in the bad, the good can pop up and we can recognize it. It's a time of integration of the dark and the light, the good and the bad. Um, one isn't better than the other. Uh, one isn't worse than the other. It's how we create it. You know, even in the Bible, um, Jesus said, uh, evil dwells only within the hearts of man. It's, it's your construct. There is dark in our universe. There is light. It's your construct and how you grow with it, how you build it, how you shift it. And, uh, you know, I, I've discovered um, that my greatest shifts come when I consciously um, move into that dark place, the fear, when it comes. I mean, when I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not looking for something to destroy it. In fact, I don't even want anything to destroy it. I'm just simply happy. Um, but with the good comes the bad, with the dark comes the light. And uh, how do you integrate that when you're in a place of fear, when you are uncomfortable, when your home's been bowled over by a tornado or tsunamis washed your life away? Well, those aren't simple answers. Eventually, we all come to see the good uh, in the bad that's happened, or when something really good's happened, we can see that it also comes with a, with a dark component. Um, for instance, I found someone to really help me in the work here at El Shaddai, which is, is a massive amount of work, and I was so thrilled and worked really well, and this person was uh, vibing, doing a good job, and then came the part where things started to fall apart, where we weren't sinking, where the person didn't show up, and, you know, my old inclination would have been, bye, find the next. But instead, no, I'm learning. Face into this. Work it through. There's the good in this, so bring in the bad, and let's all grow and learn. And, boy, that's just a, a little example. I've gone into some really deep ones in my life the past month or two on my, on my reflections, if you want to go back. But, I, I mean, that's the method. And so then you, you ask, when you take Marianne Williamson's quote, as I said, how do I get there? How do I get to seeing this as a great beginning at times when I'm so scared? And there's no easy answer for that because everybody's pathway is different when it comes to integrating emotions to change patterns. Uh, there's the emotional clearing retreats and private sessions such as I do with Ezekiel. Many others out there do. Uh, my friend Jalila Starr. There's an infinite number of people working with this. And then there's practitioners who do things such as NFT and EFT and the Sedona Method. All wonderful. None, including my own, all by themselves does the trick. Because here's the thing. There, there are three 
things, as always, the Trinity to, co to completion and unity. And in this journey of healing and clearing, there is the, the emotional part. You've got to feel it. You've got to be in it. You've got to swim in it. You've got to acknowledge it. <clears throat> Number two, there's the mental part. Uh, you know, what's the lesson? What's the fear trying to teach me? Why did the me? You have to understand that in your head to integrate feelings. But then part that many of us leave out is the, the physical part. You have to learn to integrate through your body um, and through, through vibration uh, the mental and the emotional, the trinity, and things such as EFT, you know, tapping, um, and yoga, and dance, and movement, all those things, you've got to move to integrate the energy, to make it real, to make, to make the change so you don't keep looping back. If you're missing one of the three, you keep looping back to the same dramas and same things, it's because you're missing one of the three. So take stock this morning and, you know, uh, look and see um, where you are and what one of the three you may be lacking in and, and take steps to, to make that shift. And um, we're all in this together. And you have your greatest times of contentment and joy when you move, dive into the fear, embrace the situation, move, do things, uh, work with it. And, and you will see the huge healing and the huge shift that occurs. So uh, have some great beginnings and enjoy your week. I'll see you next week. Bye.